Hello everybody, this is Brian Garvin from Oceanside, California. Um, it was raining last night and today, but it's starting to clear up now and a little windy, but overall, pretty decent weather. Would love it to be about 10 degrees warmer, but we're getting there. Okay, first of all, I gotta start this video with a disclaimer. This video is gonna be about dollar cost averaging and why it's so important, in, 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 especially in the next four years of the crypto bull run. Okay, first of all, um, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner, nor do I care to be. Um, I'm just giving you ideas on how to employ another technique that will put you on the road to financial independence. This information is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Okay, so let's, let's get started. Um, I believe that dollar cost averaging is the best way to invest. It's, it, especially in the general uh, or the multi-generational wealth transfer that's gonna happen in cryptocurrency in the next four to eight years, this is the, the best time to get involved in crypto, like literally right now, because the, the, the gigantic bull runs and the use cases for some of these top coins hasn't even really started yet. It's, they're just getting warmed up. And if you get in now, you're gonna get in before, you know, hundreds of millions of other people because only 5% of the people know about crypto. So dollar cost averaging, let me explain the definition. It's, it's a method of investing daily, weekly. You can do it any way you want, bi-weekly, monthly, or even yearly. Obviously, I don't, you know, yearly isn't going to be as effective as daily or weekly or even monthly. Um, let me tell you what my plan is during this crypto boring because there's going to be a lot of altcoin picks. And I'm not going to be able, because I can only invest $53 a day because I'm actually living on government disability through the Veterans Administration. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not out there, you know, it, it, you know, as a nurse making, you know, 90 grand a year. So I don't have four or 5,000 a month to invest or even 2,000. I have about 1,500, which is $53 a day. And the reason I'm at $53 a day as of $50 a day is because that extra $3 takes care of any um, exchange fees that I might incur and puts a net 50 a day into, into, into a project. And I think I'm gonna fare extremely well during this bull run by doing this because right now alts, are only about 5% of the market value when you compare it to Bitcoin and, and Ethereum, especially Bitcoin. And um, that's gonna change in the next year. I mean, alts are gonna, some of these alts are gonna, sur there's a chance for them to surpass it, Bitcoin. Not, I'm not saying all of them, maybe two or three. Um, they have use cases and millions and millions of people are gonna come into them that aren't in there. And I'm gonna give you every pick that I ever come across. And that's the benefit of, of being part of my channel. Um, but that's that's what dollar cost averaging is and um, the reason dollar cost averaging is so effective is it doesn't burn brain cells you can if the market's going like this you can invest the reason I like to do it daily is because I like to keep active in the market daily I like to do one thing on a daily basis to know I'm furthering my you know holdings in crypto um, but you could do it per week if you're busy working two jobs or whatever. Yeah, go ahead. When you get your check, just put a certain amount in and, and, and you're good. But I like to do it daily because I like to keep in touch with crypto. And plus, if the, if, if the market's going like this, I'm still benefiting by doing it daily because that money will accumulate interest as the market goes up. If the market's going down, I, I do it because I'm buying the dip and I'm getting a bargain. So if the mark, if the Bitcoin's going like this, right, goes up like twenty thousand, goes back four thousand, goes up, you know, ten thousand, goes back six thousand or whatever, I, I, I'm putting money in it the whole time it's doing that, and over the long run, when it, it gets to a million, and I really believe it will, probably by twenty thirty, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, you know, even if you're putting money at a hundred, two hundred grand, you're still getting a great return in the long run, more, way more than a bank will ever give you. So that's why DCA is important to do on a routine basis. And, and the reason DCA is also important is because not all of us are trust fund babies. I know I'm not. Um, I'm just doing what I can with the little bit of money I get from the government that's left over. And, and you know, whatever you're doing, whether you work construction or, you know, maybe you're a nurse or a doctor or whatever, take that extra money and put it into crypto. It'll, it, I don't, in my personal opinion, I don't think it'll hurt your financial situation one bit if you get in the right projects. Um, so that's pretty much how I do it. Um, if you do this over a period of say three to five years and you think you got to have like a mindset, you got to get in the mindset of doing this and you have to take personal responsibility over your financial life. If you get in the process of doing this over time, 
you're going to stack up, I mean, an incredible, I mean, way more than you think you are right now. Because if you st if a coin 100 X is, I'm talking about a solid project with a really good team behind it, that that's going to be take over a part of the, you know, of, of crypto. They're going to take a little chunk of crypto because they're, they're, it's a good project. You can make 50 X or even 100 X over um, you know, four to six years, and, and, and in rare cases, it could be 500 to 1,000 X. I'm not saying that that's gonna happen for sure, but it could happen. Um, you know, so you wanna get into these 50, 100 X plays the whole time and DCA into those, you know, for the next four years, especially from 2024 to 2028. And if you're watching this video after 2028, I don't think this method's gonna be obsolete. You could still do it because there's always an opportunity in crypto. I mean, if there's if one is old, there's always a new coin coming out with a good use case. So, so just just get that mindset of DCA. Um, and if you have a bunch of money to put in crypto, as long as it doesn't affect your rent or your food, then by all means do it. I, I don't I don't see a problem with it. I did it. I took a lot of my severance money when I got my disability increased from ninety to one hundred percent, and I I put. I was, I'm over allocated. I mean, people always tell you, oh, you're supposed to put 15%. No, I mean, in my opinion, crypto is where it's at. You know, real estate and the other stuff, yeah, they had their day and they still have their day if you have a lot of money to invest, but not all of us do. So we have to go with an asset class that that's gonna give us multi-generational wealth for years and, and we're in the right place at the right time. So anyway, that's my spiel on that. Um, think of a new, each different crypto coin you get into, think of it as a different asset. Let, let me give you an example. Um, I have Chainlink. I have 200 Chainlink right now. I just I just put a little more into Chainlink. And if the Chainlink goes to 1,000 a coin, that's 200 grand. Eventually, not now, but in three or four years from now, when it reaches that, I can take that money if I want and buy a little mobile home for myself And because right now I run a room. And that's what you do. You that's what the rich do. They 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 say, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take take this money, grow it, and I'm gonna put it into this. I'm I'm gonna take this money, grow it, and put it into this. I might have another coin that I get that I might want to buy a new car. But I'll be honest with you, I don't really have any plans on doing that because I'm very humble and I don't live like that. I don't want it. I don't care. I've been there and done that. I used to make twenty grand a month on the internet. Work, you know, just doing so software um, sales, software not development, software sales and affiliate marketing and things like that. And I made 20 grand a month for about six years. I did pretty good for a while, but it was always, I always felt like I was on the edge, you know, like I was gonna lose it at any time and eventually I did. And, but but with crypto, you're not gonna lose it. You're gonna be liquid. I, I mean, if you make a million dollars in crypto, you're gonna be more liquid than someone that made it in real estate because they're gonna have to refinance their house. And there's a lot of costs with real estate. There's property taxes or whatever. With this asset class in crypto, you don't you don't really have any expenses. You just hold it on an exchange or you put it in, a, you know, you take self custody of it in your own hardware wallet. Um, so, you know, there there's just more flexibility in crypto than there is anywhere else. If I want to withdraw 20 grand in crypto to live on or go on a vacation, you know, in two or three years when I have the money, it's not a problem. Um, so, you know, you got to think of it like that. So set up different coins for your different life goals. That's my advice. I'm not advice. I can't give you financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor, but that's what I plan on doing. Let me, re sorry, I, I, I need to rephrase that. Um, so one of the things too about dollar cost averaging that's another benefit is you're not doing it based on emotion. You're saying, okay, I'm going to take this particular coin and I'm going to put $400 into it. That's my going to be my allocation for all these new coins that come up because there's going to be a lot of them. And, and, and a lot of them have serious potential. I mean, they could easily 100x in the next four to six years. Um, and that's what I'm going to do because, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it all goes back into Bitcoin or I withdraw in fiat because Bitcoin is the big daddy and that's where it all eventually goes. But in the meantime, I want to, I want to get involved in a lot of these different projects that have a lot of promise and, and, and my personal goal and, and, and any average person can do this that just has a regular job, I would think, um, is you know, allocate $400 a month to each crypto, that's only eight days of DCAing at $53 a day. So that's not too bad. And then I don't have to focus too much on that project after that, then I go on to the next one, no matter, and don't get personally attached to any project too much. I mean, I mean, it, it's okay to love the idea of the project or whatever, I'm not saying not to do that, but just, just, just give it an allocation, meet that allocation, then go on to your next project, and then fund that with the same, you know, 
four hundred dollars. That's that's gonna be my thing. Four hundred. I might go up to five hundred if there's not any picks for a long time. I might start topping them off and you know, making them a little more. But I'm not gonna go crazy on one project because if something happens, you know, we're gonna put like fifteen grand in on a project because if something happens and I'm screwed, I don't have all these other plays going on. So um, that's my that's the way I look at DCA or dollar cost averaging. Um, let me see what else I was gonna say. Yeah, so. One of the things I wanted to tell you was, yeah, okay. I'm just looking over my notes real quick to make sure I didn't miss anything important. Yeah, okay, personal responsibility. In the Marine Corps, they taught us take personal responsibility for everything. That's your finances, you're responsible for your life. Um, a lot of people just think everyone's gonna take care of them and they could just give up. It, life doesn't work that way. I mean, you might get some freebies here and there. You can get, you know, you might go to a food bank and get some free food and you might have a friend of yours that really likes you. He might give you a few bucks, but nobody really cares about pulling you up from your financial bootstraps. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for our own destiny when it comes to finance and, 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 and you know, financial independence. And that's why I'm completely focused on do, you know, making a few million. So in the next four to six years, because I know no one else is going to help me with that, um, and I suggest you have the same. You adopt the same thought process, or at least that's what I plan on doing. I can't suggest anything because once again, I'm not a financial planner. Um, but I think you understand where I'm coming from, and I think if you take a little lesson from this video and implement it, it could really change your financial future. And that's why I decided not to talk about another coin I'm in today because I really want to give you that foundational knowledge and theory. Um, to change your life, you know, and to, and to get involved in that thought process. Because if you're not, your chances of failing are gonna be a lot higher. So that's the way I look at it. Um, the next video I talk about, it could either be the Coinbase lawsuit going on, I might wanna touch on that and, and why it's not so much of a worry as a lot of people think. Because um, it's really not affecting their stock price too much as far as putting it, you know, in the downward spiral. But, I want to talk about it because, you know, Coinbase is a big company and there were, you can get a lot of your good coins on Coinbase yeah. because Coinbase vets all their, you know, cryptocurrency that they put on their platform. They want to make sure it's legit and, you know, people aren't going to get, you know, the, the project itself isn't a scam and there's good, there's good use case behind it. Um, so I guess the final thing I'm going to say is if you learned something from this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to have you as a subscriber and I'd love to give you good alpha and to help you stack at least six to seven figures in this bull market coming up from 2024 to 2028 and hopefully even seven figures. Um, I really believe you can do it. Um, even if right now you only have 500 invested in crypto or even zero invested in crypto, you could start right now, go on DCA. And, and make a plan, start for yourself, do it now. I mean, it's not too late. You're actually very, very early. And all the people that say you're too late, like the media, it's too late for Bitcoin, blah, 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 don't listen to them. They don't know what they're talking about. Um, I watch videos every single day and, and, and I, I watch from other people and I'm just gonna transfer some of this knowledge onto you. And, and a lot of it I get myself by doing you know research on the internet and sometimes I have to dig kind of deep, um, but I get it. You know, and because it's important, it's part of my life. And um, every single, you know, I'm going to try to help you guys not get into the shit coins. Um, I'm going to help you pick the really good projects because I, I, I've been doing this for like since 2018. I got my first Bitcoin for $3,600, and I know it's. I mean, I, I know eventually that will make me a millionaire in about five or six years, but. I wish I had about one or two more Bitcoin, but we all make mistakes like that. Don't feel bad because you got suckered into some shit coin in the past and got burned for three grand or something. I mean, it it happened to me. I, I was in a, a project called Pundi X. It's supposed to be a coin that's supposed to help retail investors. And I looked at my, I went to ETH Plur and looked at my thing and it showed it almost had like six, it was six grand worth. I had like, I don't know, like eight, 8,000 something coins. And then I looked at the market cap and it says zero and the trading volume for that day was $455. So I realized I wasn't gonna be able to sell my PNDX coins or whatever, but I guess they had a switch where you had to switch them to the Pundi X token by, I don't know, it was like March of 2022. So I realized my, my dropping the ball on that probably will cost me 50 grand in the long run. 
So I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to do that. So, I mean, it's too late now. I mean, I, I can't, I don't think I'm going to be able to exchange those coins. Um, so that's a $50,000 mistake. So uh, don't beat yourself up for stuff like that, because in the long run, it's not going to matter. Because if you, if you get into the right place, you're going to make a lot of money. And I'm going to, I definitely plan to get in the right place. That's one thing I'm very convicted on. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. Um, I'd love to have you on my list. Um, please hit the notification bell after you subscribe and I'll give you all the alpha I can, everything I learn, I'm going to pass on to you. It's that simple. Just like if we were sitting there having coffee and I was trying to help you change your financial life, except we're doing it through video on YouTube. That's the only difference. Um, if you, if you, if you comment on my video and leave a like, that'll help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. And, uh, that's about it for now. Uh, peace out and I'll be in touch very soon with my next video. Thank you very much.